I'm Philip Ringler. And I'm James Saxon. And we, we are, are Lapsing Realism. Realism. This video is intended to show you uh, our latest shot in our conceptual photography series, Element. Element. This is Fire. Earth. And as you can see, we have a volcano here that is sort of like the volcanoes that you would make for a science fair when you were a kid, but the fact is, is uh, now we're adults, so we can make it the way we want to make it. Maybe uh, sort of the ideal science fair volcano. Um, and we'll explain that in a, a little bit more. But the rest of the set, basically, it's designed to evoke a sense of science madness as if it were designed by a chemistry teacher in the 70s who did way too much acid and is doing kind of experiments with no road, uh, uh, no, no end in sight, just sort of experiments for the sake of making weird experiments. So this is kind of like, you know, the kind of chemistry teachers I had when I was in middle school. Um, and that's sort of the, the baseline for this project, for the design. Um, technically, James is going to explain to you about how we made this volcano and we're going to do a demonstration of how it works. James. So, this volcano is the classic science fair volcano. It has chicken wire, it has paper mache, and it used baking soda and vinegar to create the frothing out the front, um, you know, of the, the lava coming out. Um, being perfectionists, we experimented until we found just the right combination of Kool-Aid, vinegar, and jello that would create just the right color and consistency of the lava so it would flow down at the right rate. Um, and then, also, because we can't help it ourselves, we wanted an additional element, uh, which happens in this shot, to be fire. Don't try this at home, kids. So James is inserting a sparkler, hitting an air compressor, and we get this nice volcanic explosion happening. That um, is actually from non-dairy creamer. That's that's the kind of uh, uh, fire we're looking for the shot. Something that's. Uh, visually overwhelming and uh, unusual for this type of uh, volcano. Normally it's just vinegar and some food coloring and that's it. Um, but the basic construction of the volcano uh, is your classic science fair volcano. We, um, we made a, a, a wooden skeletal structure with chicken wire and um, cover it in paper mache. Um, we use the student newspaper here at the university because they're in uh, no short supply. And uh, then we use some tempera paint, painted that, uh, and there you go. So the glass, all the glassware and uh, all of this stuff, this is lab glass that we had uh, from working at the photography lab. Ja James uh, had boxes of this stuff, so uh, easy for us this time. And uh, this microscope, um, it's this uh, <laughs> enormous microscope given to us by our good friend Bill. Um, and the mechanism behind the volcano um, is compressed air. So we have a compressed air valve here, um, plumbed up to an electronic solenoid, which is electrically, electrically controlled by this foot pedal. And as soon as the non-dairy creamer is, is, becomes airborne and mixed with air, it becomes highly combustible, and that's when the sparkler that we used as a pilot light um, ignited it and made the flaming volcano effect. 
There you go. If you want to see the work that we've been up to, uh, check it out, philipringler.com. Um, relaxing realism. Thank you very much. Thank you.